Hey guys, Matthew here. In this video, we're going to go through uh, the basics of Make 2D. So, Make 2D is a very, very powerful tool, and it's a tool that makes people very, very lazy. Um, we see it a lot in um, architecture. But let's have a look at it. So, I'm going to make a box. Type in box, um, and I'm going to type uh, 10, 10, 10. Ah, 0, 10. 10, 10, there we go, and I have a box here, and I know I want an isometric, and I'm going to click on that, sweet, okay, so I've got my box, and I'm going to select it and type Make 2D. Now what Make 2D does is it will do the projection mapping for you to figure out what the drawing should look like. So it'll open up a dialog box, and I'm just going to press OK. We'll go through some of these things in a bit. So here we go, there is my box. Now, I'm going to move that over here, and I'm going to test what the length of the box is. And it says 8.165. Um, so it's not at scale, it's no longer a measured drawing um, at 1 to 1, it's now at, at an odd scale. So what we need to do is we need to scale this back up, so this length here is 10 units. And that's an isometric of this box at one to one. Cool. So that's fine. Let's have a look at some other kind of uh, things with this Make 2D. Let's make another box. And could have just copied it, but I like to make my life hard. And I'm going to make it intersect in the same way that the Boolean uh, videos made the boxes intersect. And I'm going to, again, make an isometric. And I think southeast is useless. South, uh, man, see, this is what I was talking about in the last video. Um, so I've got to change this view back to top. Here we go. Uh, isometric, and I'm going to try northwest. Okay, going to come back and try southwest. There we go. That's what I want. So I've got the view I want, and now I'm going to try giving it a make 2D. And let's see what happens. Well, it looks completely confusing. Um, and I don't know what I'm getting. Uh, and the major reason for that is it's not showing you these intersection lines that should be occurring here. So if we took the exact same object and unioned it together, and now did a make 2D of this, we will get something which is far more readable as a drawing. So a lot of the time, people don't do this part of the Make 2D process to make sure that the model is really, really clean and well constructed, to make sure that the kinds of uh, drawing kind of, I guess, uh, starting, starting the drawing, this is not a final drawing, this is just the start, um, is of a higher quality. So when you're using Make 2D, you need to really make sure your geometry is clean and put together well. Um, okay. Let's look at Make2D a little bit more and let's um, perhaps take this geometry and let's distort it in some kind of bit of a weird way. So let's twist it along this axis here so it's a bit bendy. And let's, um, that's probably a bit too twisty. Let's maybe do it by 30 degrees. There we go. And then let's uh, bend it like so. Okay, that looks cool. Now let's give that a make 2D. Let's see what gets out. So I'm going to move this over here so I can see it. So you'll notice that this join is well thought out, but we begin to get this artifacting occurring at uh, some of the more awkward positions for it to know what's going on. So let's see if we can figure out. So there's clearly like a, a weird artifact here that the computer's having trouble dealing with, and another weird one here. So how do you begin to resolve that? Well, you have to think about what makes sense. So you just, in this instance, you would just delete that and delete that. But it's quite obvious that the Make 2D is not going to give you the best representation. You'll need to go in and figure it out what needs to be done. So say, again, for example, this line here, which is this line here, should that exist? What is that line doing? Should we delete it? it seems like you would, and then you would take this line and you would extend it to here. So it intersects there, and 
that's more true to what this is than what the Make 2D produced. So the Make 2D in itself will not produce a good drawing. You need to use it as a starting point to then produce a drawing. So the better the model, the better the starting point. And that's why I've spent so much time talking about Boolean tools. Um, cool. So let's continue to look at our Make 2D options in detail. So you can choose uh, for view, which will, when we press OK, make you a complete construction set of that object. Again, each one needs to be cleaned up individually. That one's quite nice. Um, <laughs> but that's that, right? So a lot of the time you just do these separately. Um, sorry about that. Uh, make 2D. Select the object, make 2D. Okay, so I'm going to put it back to current view. And now there's all these options here. So show tangent lines and show hidden lines uh, do two different things. So I'm going to just do one with tangent lines. And then I'm going to move this away from the object. And you'll see that there's more lines here. So lines that are at tangents to things are being uh, printed into the Make 2D. Not overly exciting at the moment. Um, let's try Make 2D. Let's select this guy and let's uh, show hidden lines. And this will create a completely different result. So what this does is this will give you the lines at the back as well. So the lines that would be kind of dashed in, um, which um, Ollie would have talked to about in the lecture. So lines you don't see are being given to us. And if we go to our layers, you'll notice that um, we have Make 2D, we have a Make 2D layer here with hidden lines and visible lines. Um, so it's sorting it for us, and you can actually make it even more organized by making 2D and maintaining the source layer. And when you do that, it'll then make an extra layer which has each of these things on their own layer. So it says D here, but if I drag this out and make this bigger, it'll say default. So if I go to properties, sorry, if I go to layers and I make a new layer, and I call it uh, my second layer, and I color it red, so we get a clear visual difference, and I delete the... Oh, undo, and I delete the uh, the Make 2D behind the object, and I make another box. Actually, I'll just copy this over here, and I'll rotate it a little. Rotate you a little, so you look a bit visually different. There we go, and I'll make you red. And I'll probably push you back a bit so it's less confusing. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to do a Make 2D of this with the Maintain Source layers on. And you'll notice that when I move this away, I've got red lines and white lines, and I can actually turn them off. So if I wanted to turn the red object off, I could just turn the red object off in my second layer in Hidden, and my second layer in the Visible, and voila. And you'll notice that this line is hidden, because it is intersected by the red line there, but I have that control, which would be very, very useful in the production of drawings. So let's just have a look at the commands one more time, and you'll notice that you can actually choose where these uh, layers get mapped to. You shouldn't really have to change this in too much detail. So don't worry about that too much. The important thing is that it's setting it up all nicely here as layers for you. And the more time you spend like figuring out what layer every object should be, the higher quality drawing you have. And the better, the more, the more time you spend putting models together that are of a high quality, the better quality kind of starting point you'll get for a drawing. So that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.